Hey guys, welcome to Art Bomb. This is Sean Bryant here with you to do another ink blot. This is the same ink blot we've been using for the uh, first two Art Bombs, and I really want to show you the diversity that you can get from one ink blot. You don't have to keep creating new ink blots. You can use the same one and really pull out different designs from it. It's all about picking your theme. And today's theme, I want to focus on uh, a t-shirt design, and I want to do something kind of fantasy related. So now that I picked my theme, I can start staring at the ink blot and uh, seeing what shapes I can pull out. If you look at the ink blot, you can see these big textural elements here. This real darkening of the ink blot in this area, mirrored over here. In the past, we've done uh, a collar and uh, and uh, a brow ridge with this, but I think with this one, what I'm really seeing is. Uh, is a hooded figure here and that really works well with the idea of the t-shirt design because I can use this kind of mirrored image to create a nice balanced design for this t-shirt. So I've got the idea of the hooded figure and I, I keep looking around and, uh, and I see these lighter areas here and this kind of looks like a hand and then this down here it looks like the hilt of a sword. So if I bring that up, kind of create the rest of the sword and then use this to make a hand, these textural elements have really guided me in my design here. So now, going off the theme of t-shirt design and, and fantasy, it looks like two assassins holding a sword. I think that's a really cool concept for a t-shirt design. So we can keep working on this and really pull out some of the ele elements of the cloak. And up here, these, these two dots up here, they really remind me of a skull and I think that would go well with the idea of the twin assassins kind of death looming over them. I think that'd be really neat. I'm going to drop some horns in there too, make it like a demon skull. With the horns, you want it to follow along with the tops of these hoods and then kind of lead you back in towards the center. I think we can also add in a, a bunch of filigree around it to give it that neat, you know, design element. You can really go in with the detail later and, and, and tighten it up, but just kind of get a general idea of what I want. For this t-shirt design, I'm going to do it in a couple phases. This I, I really wanted to do in this red ink just to kind of block in these basic shapes and give you an idea of where that thought process comes from and how important it is to pick the theme. So without picking the theme, I really would have stared at this for a long time and tried to figure out what the heck I could do that would be new. You know, I've already done a superhero, I've already done a dragon. How am I gonna look at this in a different way? With picking the theme, it really kind of, it makes your brain pull new ideas out. You really search through that mental library. All right, let's move on to the next step, which is gonna be a tighter drawing and uh, getting some of those details in there. Okay, so we're finishing up here with uh, the rough design of this. As always, keep your theme in mind when you're designing this. And keep your audience in mind when you're doing something commercial like a t-shirt design. So let's say we we're trying to market this towards gamers. We would probably look for inspiration in stuff like World of Warcraft and uh, Assassin's Creed. So I'm going to uh, try to take design notes from those type of games and look for common design themes that are appealing in that market. I've kind of skipped ahead here to a final look of this and uh, just kind of noodling away at some details and I'll probably print this out and uh, ink it traditionally or I might even do it in Illustrator. Uh, really just depends on my mood. But that's about it for this art bomb, so uh, please go ahead and subscribe so you guys can get updates and leave me some comments down below as to what you guys think. And uh, go to art-bomb.com and download your own ink blot and uh, post up your own art bombs. I'd really, really love to see them. I really hope to hear from you guys. Thanks a lot.